A better look at the epic explosion of this Russian Blyatmobile when it was moving in the direction of Donetsk. A foreign mercenary, presumably from Africa, was destroyed by FPV drone of the Signum Group of the Ukrainian 93rd Mech, brigade in the Bakhmut direction. I wonder if it was the Russians who taught him to try to shoot down a drone with a stick. This was absurd and he was completely defeated. In another development, Ukraine destroyed a Russian attack group with heavy bomber drones on the Vovchansk front, Kharkov. An attack group consisting of dozens of Russians decided to attack in the evening. They started quickly, firing RPOA Schmel rocket-propelled infantry flamethrowers into Ukrainian positions, with the attack coming from two side. But they were no match for the enemy. Ukrainian soldiers discovered them earlier during their movement and accumulation closer to the front line. And then Ukraine attacked as soon as they got close and began storming their positions. Within an hour, the attacking group was gone, half dead, the other half retreating, broken. An effective tactic for holding position is to prevent the enemy from closing in on infantry, because the enemy has a chance to crush the defense. Ukrainian troops identified and destroyed Russian troops even on the approach to their positions. Great strategy. On a recent day, a Russian Gaz-2330 Tiger armored vehicle was attacked by mortar fire in the area west of the village of Gorkovsky in the Belgorod region. This is a notable event in the context of increasing tensions and conflicts between Russia and Ukraine. The Gaz-2330 Tiger was moving or at a standstill when it was suddenly attacked by mortars from the enemy. The mortar, with its ability to fire long-range explosive shells, caused significant damage to the Gaz-2330. In another video recorded, the UAV platoon Amor Fati, using unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, equipped with advanced technology, launched an attack on enemy pilots in the direction of Zaporizhia. During the attack, the UAVs detected and precisely targeted the positions of enemy pilots, carrying out attacks with high precision. In this situation, enemy pilots use dugouts to hide and avoid detection or attack. Tunnels are underground structures built to protect soldiers from aerial or artillery attacks. However, not all pilots escaped from the tunnel when the UAV attacked. The conflict in Ukraine has lasted for many years, with constant escalation and transformation on the battlefield. Attacks such as the attack on the Gaz 2330 Tiger armored vehicle with mortars or the Amor Fati UAV platoon attacking enemy pilots are proof of the closeness and unpredictability of the war. Despite facing many challenges and dangers, Ukrainian forces remain steadfast in protecting their territory and people. Their resilience and determination are shown not only through battles, but also through solidarity and courage in the face of strong enemies. They use every available resource and tactic to resist aggression, from using UAVs for surveillance and attack to maintaining strategic defensive positions. 